welcome back to another video. Today is a laid back, chill fall day in the life with me and Beckett. We're going to be doing all of our favorite fall things. Well, not all of them, but a few of them. One of the main changes that I've made in the past few months is how I spend time with my littles, especially Beckett. He was three when I had Bonnie, and I'm sure he misses having mommy time where it's just me and him. And so I make an effort to have days where it's just him and me spending time doing our favorite things. One of our favorite things, especially in October, is to carve pumpkins. I always let him pick the design and then I let him help the carving process. But of course he is still, he's just four, so I don't let him go crazy on it, but he does get to help. And then we always take the seeds out and we save them. I'm gonna show you what we do with the seeds here in just a little bit. I just made a four. I carved a four on there. You did? Yeah. <laughs> I bought this electric carver from Walmart. Now it's not that great, but it's definitely better than just using the little carving knives that come in the kits. It did work pretty good and it cut out probably a good 20 minutes of effort. Ken came out and hung out with us for a little while, but he had an interview that went on and on and on forever. Here's the finished project in the daylight. So we did one pumpkin face and oogie boogie. He was so proud. Then he wanted to ride his new tractor that he got for his birthday, which looks exactly like Ken's New Holland. It even has the New Holland stickers and everything on it. Comes with a trailer. I got it at Best Pro. I will link it in case you have a little who likes farm equipment. Lily was living her best life outside. Can I see you? No, you're camouflaged. You have to wave so I can see you. There he is. There's Beckett. Oh, oh where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Then we came inside and here's what we do with our pumpkin seeds. I'm sure many of you have done this before. So we bake them in the oven and you can make them sweet. We prefer to make them savory. So I dry them off as good as I can. He was impatient. Normally I let these dry out overnight. He wanted them right now. So I dried them as best as I could with a towel and then I put them in a dish and I added some butter, of course. And you can add any seasonings that you like. Pork and Good actually has some really cool seasonings. This is not sponsored, I just was giving you a little info there. I just put salt, garlic, and I also love Worcestershire sauce. Just shake a little in there and then stir them up. Then you're gonna preheat your oven to 350. Then put these on a baking sheet and stick them in the oven for about 15 minutes if you've let them dry overnight. If they're wet like mine, like mine were still a little bit wet, they could probably go for 20 minutes and every five minutes I would toss them on the baking sheet, sprinkle a little more seasoning on there, put them back in the oven. Another five minutes, same thing. Another five minutes, same thing. And they turned out great, nice and crunchy. But like I said, I only did mine for 15 minutes. They could have they could have used another five minutes. Ken and I went to an event in Utah and at this event, they let me sample this creamy sausage pumpkin soup, which sounds kind of crazy, but it is amazing. I'm gonna put the full recipe link in the description. I made a few changes to mine. They use avocado oil, I use bacon fat. They say to drain the fat, I did not. I just sauteed my peppers and onions and garlic in a skillet, also hey, Look at my pink pans. These are exactly like the ones I always use. They're ceramic, non-stick, non-chemicals, totally safe, but they're pink. I had to have them 
I got them. And I don't know. They're super cute. So like I said, I'm going to put the full recipe on the screen and in the description for you guys. It is shockingly good. It is all the things a fall soup should be. It is warm. It is cozy. It smells amazing. It just tastes like fall. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, it does use pumpkin spice caramel keto chow, which sounds crazy. You mix it with bone broth and heavy cream, and then you pour it into the, into the soup, and it makes it so creamy, and it just adds so much to the flavor of it. I just cannot, I cannot explain how good this soup is. You have to make it for yourself. Trust me. I'm very picky when it comes to soups, and my goodness, what a treat. You think they need water? taste test my version of the pumpkin sausage soup i was in a hurry while making this because i was doing seven other things at the same time so mm. yep that's delicious what mm -hmm. is it hard to make no not really chop up some peppers onions and garlic cook some sausage up Open some cans. No hard at all. <clears throat> so this is made from scratch. Sure. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you make this soup, let me know what you think. And I hope you all have a very happy Halloween. See you next time. Love you, mean it. Bye.